he can go 0 to 100 quicker than the motorbikes of the same name. Kieda Suzuki couldn't stop Piran and Chengdu, but he's brought a ton of excitement to Japanese 3x3 basketball. The Tokyo star has been in the spotlight as his country gets ready to stage the 2020 Olympics. Now that it's an Olympic sport, interest in 3x3 in Japan is at an all-time high. Well, back in 2013, when they had a first world tour in Tokyo, there was a, you know, a crowd come and watch, and it was an exciting atmosphere, but the uh, announcement of the Olympics just totally, you know, changed things. And the people who come to watch the games just like probably double or triple compared to last year. The Olympic effect has no doubt helped the league. 25,000 watched the 510 Dragster win the title and the MVP trophy at the 3x3 EXC Premier League final in September. This year we have 18 teams divided into three conferences. So eight teams go to the playoffs and uh, compete for the playoff champions, which the champion team will get the ticket to World Tour. It was exciting this year. It was the highest level we got since the, the league started. When they traveled to China for the World Tour event in Chengdu, they felt like contenders. After the result of the Xavier 3x3 Professional League, like we won the championship with four Japanese players, we have more confidence in ourselves. Suzuki has never won the World Tour before, but he's come close. In Beijing in 2014, he hit a game-winning shot in the semifinals that put his team in the title game. 3x3 has gotten tougher since then. The Japan national team that he played for last year at the World Cup in Guangzhou only won two of four games and came up short on the quarterfinals. I see it as a progress, although we lost in the first round, because the level of 3x3 is totally different from 2014. 